Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to back up your BitLocker recovery key before it's too late, basically. And I'll talk about a few other things. Uh, so first thing first, we need to find out if BitLocker is enabled in the system. We're going to go to File Browser, this PC, and if we see the lock right here, it basically means it's enabled. Other way we can find out in the best way is to right click on this PC, Manage, and we're going to go to disk management and if we see bitlocker encrypted on this partition right here c partition this means this partition is encrypted step two now we need to back up the recovery key we're gonna go to start menu we're gonna type in bit and we're gonna open up this application called manage bitlocker and the option we're interested in is to back up the key right here but if you want to turn off BitLocker, you don't care about encryption, basically you would hit this option and then you'll hit this option. And this will start decrypting the disk, depending how large the disk is, how many files you have, how it's encrypted, a few other things. This decryption process will take maybe a few hours or a few days. And you actually will see right here saying decrypting disk C. Anyway, if you want to continue using encryption, you would need to back up the key. So we'll be using this option right here. And you have three methods of backing up your key. Method number one, I guess, is to back up your recovery key onto Microsoft's account, but that's actually defeats the purpose. It's actually a bad idea for Microsoft to have your recovery key. Why would you use encryption when Microsoft has the recovery key for your encrypted hard drive or encrypted solid state drive? So forget about this option number one. Option number two, you can save the, the key, basically it's a text file, and you can save it on your system. Unfortunately, you cannot save it on your system because it will give you an error message letting you know you cannot save the recovery key on the same system or the same partition where the bid locker is enabled, basically. If you have, let's say, a network drive or flash drive, you can save it there but at least you should have three copies of this text file, the recovery key, because I guarantee it, if you save it on a flash drive or external hard drive, that external hard drive will fail eventually. So that's option number two to back up your recovery key for BitLocker. I'm gonna copy the file name as well. Option number three is to print your recovery key. And I think it's the easiest one for everyone basically. And you would normally select your printer here and, you know, make three copies and you would normally print it. But I don't have a printer here and I'm going to save it as a PDF file, basically. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to name it with the auto-generate auto -generated file that was created a few minutes ago. And at this point, you're basically kind of finished. I'm going to close everything here. So here is our, or mine specifically, BitLocker recovery key. We have the identifier for this particular system or partition specifically, and we have the recovery key. Because let's say you have two partitions on your hard drive or SSD that are encrypted, the system will actually show you the identifier and it will ask you for the recovery key for that particular partition basically and you know save this in multiple locations and basically you're done at this point but if you want to see a few other things i was gonna i'm gonna talk about right now for example let's say your tpm key that stores the encryption key that's right here i'll show it to you so this is trusted platform module version 2 we call it tpm for short tpm 2.0 let's say and sometimes the TPM chip, it's really rare, but it can fail. If it fails and you don't have the recovery key stored somewhere else, you won't be able to access your partition, this particular partition right here that I showed you earlier. Let's say you moved the solid state drive to a different system. That different system will not have the TPM 
keys. It's a different TPM module. TPM module is soldered on the board. Usually it could be part of BIOS, could be part of the CPU, depending on your system. Once again, if you don't have your TPM key or your recovery key specifically backed up, you're not gonna be able to access this partition on different systems. So this is why we tell clients, hey, if you have TP if you have BitLocker enabled, and you don't have the recovery key, we can't just, you know, move your hard drive to a different system and copy your files. We can definitely do that, you know, move the hard drive to a different system. But if the system asks us right away, the recovery tools will ask us right away for the BitLocker key, we cannot help you with that if you don't have it. So now let's say I'm gonna simulate TPM failure. I'm gonna shut the system down. I'm gonna remove the TPM and I'm gonna add it back in. This is a virtual machine. So here is my TPM. I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna save the settings and I'm gonna add it back in. You can actually start the system without a TPM module, but you'll have to enter the BitLocker recovery key every single time. So we're gonna start the system and most of you probably greeted with this screen right here and you're all googling around calling different shops trying to get the recovery key but i'm sorry they're not gonna know your recovery key they're not supposed to they never set this up for you i even seen it departments that do not have the recovery keys for their workstations because really poor management but my recovery key is right here so we have an identifier right here you can see it matches on the system and then i have the recovery key and I'm gonna enter the recovery key. After entering the recovery key, you'll hit enter. It'll take you, well, the bootloader will start, will start booting the system. Um, if it fails to boot, double check the recovery key you entered. I guarantee it, you probably mis-entered something. And at this point, you're basically done. That new recovery key, not new recovery key, but that recovery key you just entered uh, will be stored on the TPM. And every time you're gonna restart your system, it's basically gonna put into Windows right away. You won't be prompt to enter the um, recovery key again, basically. So there you go, it's, it's putting Windows again. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope everyone learned something new and everyone's backing up their BitLocker keys. But this is not a solution if you're thinking <laughs> to stop backing up your files on your system to some external storage or some cloud backup. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you learned something new and uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.